السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم We are continuing with the chapter of Mujahada Sacrificing and striving in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala This hadith is by Hudayfa bin Yaman radiallahu an Hudayfa radiallahu an was actually He was the confidant of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he knew a lot of the secrets which no one else knew. Uh, the Prophet Wasallam would tell him things and uh, he would keep those uh, as a secret as it was the amana of the Prophet Wasallam. He even knew the list of the munafiqeen, the hypocrites. Uh, after the Prophet Wasallam had passed away, some sahaba even went to him to ask, you know, and they said that we don't want to know who it is, but we just want to know is our name on that list. Anyways, this uh, he mentions that once he was praying with the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam one night, and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he started Surah Al-Baqarah. So he thought that you know, when when the Imam starts Alif Lam Mim is usually only on the first night of Tarawih, you know, other time, you know. If he's going to read Alif Lam Mim, it's probably just going to be some ayahs. So he thought, you know, he'll probably do ruku after a hundred ayahs. The Prophet ﷺ continued reading. He thought to himself, okay, maybe not a hundred ayahs, maybe two hundred ayahs, or, you know, he'll finish it within, the, within one rakah or two rakah. The, meaning the salah, he'll just read this surah. But then the Prophet ﷺ, he continued. He recited Surah An-Nisa. Then, after that, he finished Nisa, then he read Ali Imran. Right. The order is, the Prophet ﷺ, he read, he read Nisa first, and then he read Ali Imran, even though Ali Imran comes first. This was a, an odd case, not the, not the usual. Anyways, after he read Ali Imran, right, then he says that the Prophet ﷺ wasn't reading in a fast you know, pace. He, he was reading Yaqra' mutarassiran, meaning he was reading slow and he was reading measured. Right. This is a very important point. When we read, right, and even when the Imam reads in, in Ramadan, everyone in the back, especially after the first night, first night, they say, you know, mashallah, it was very nice and stuff, but please, you know, we're, we, have to, we have work tomorrow, you know, this, that, and please hurry it up. And read fast. And some, in some countries, I know back home, they have, a, they have the tarawih, it's not named by the masjid. This is the 25-minute tarawih, this is the 45-minute you know, tarawih, this is the... Now, you know how yeah, you go to Masjid Aisha, you go Masjid... No, you go to the 25-minute one, you go to the half an hour one, you go to the 45-minute one. This is how it works. It's a race. This hadith is showing us the complete opposite, that the Prophet ﷺ, his zeal and his, you know, his love for worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So after he... he and, uh, before we get on, continue with the story, he mentions that the Prophet ﷺ would recite slow and measured, and then he says when he would come to an ayah where the praise of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, where the tasbih, the glorification is taking place, he would glorify Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. And when he would come to a place where there is a request, then he would request Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Wa ida marra bi taawudin, and when he would come to a place where there is a, a, t- a time to seek refuge from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, then taawud. He would he took refuge from Allah Subhanahu. After all of that, then he went into ruku. Then he went into ruku. Then in the he start he said when he after the ruku, then he said Subhan uh, in ruku he said Subhan Rabbi al and the, the narrator says Fakana ruku uhu nahwa min qiyami. That the ruku was uh, as lengthy as the qiyam. So as a standing, that's how long the ruku was. For those who prayed the uh, you know Salat al Kusuf when we were when when the eclipse took place. If you remember, the ruku was really long. You could hear like knees cracking and stuff like that. At one point, I had to come up because I thought people are going to just fall over. And when you do a long ruku, the blood starts getting to your head. But the Prophet ﷺ did such a long ruku. The surahs that he covered, Baqarah, Ali Imran, Nisa. This is over five juz, by the way. This is over five juz. Right? A regular person will read one juz in like maybe 45 minutes. Do the math. Subhanallah. Right? So. This is how long his ruku was after the qiyam. Then he came up, Sami Allahu liman hamida rabbana lakal hamd. Then, thumma qama qiyaman tawilan qariban mimma ruku. Then he stood for close to how long he was in ruku. Then he went into sujood. Thumma sajada. Faqala subhana rabbi al a'la. And he said, subhana rabbi al a'la. Fakana sujooduhu qariban min qiyami. Then his sujood was 
as you know, a similar length to his standing. Subhanallah, we, once, one we see the zeal, but we also see the way of, you know, the way of praying. Many times when we go into ruku or sujood, we're not even in the motion completely and we're already exiting. Sometimes we go into sujood and our nose and our forehead are not even touching the ground and we're already back up. Right. This is a, you know, a prerequisite for the sujood that our, our nose and our forehead has to touch. If it doesn't touch, our salah will not, like the ruku will, be, will not be accepted and then therefore our, our salah will be in jeopardy. Right. So these are very important points that we have to keep in mind. But uh, aside from that, we have to look at the, the, the salah of the Prophet wasallam and the sacrifice. That how long he was praying, even though we already know that his, this is a nafil prayer, number one. Number two is, uh, he was already forgiven. He didn't have to pray extra, he didn't have to do anything extra. He had already had you know, the glad tidings. But, أَفَلَا أَكُونَ عَبْدًا شَكُورًا that what, do, I, do I not want to be a grateful servant to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So this is talking about nafal prayer. We have to work on our fard prayer. And lastly, I'll just share one uh, interesting point a teacher shared with me recently. He, we were talking about reciting Surah Al-Baqarah and Ali Imran right now. So I'll share this point. This uh, one, sir, one, was one slave or servant, he got called in the court because he went and he hit the imam. So the, the judge called him. You know, the, the Khalifa of the time called him. He said, oh, how, can you, how can you go and hit the Imam? Right? So he says, first let me tell you what happened. So he says, what happened? So he's like, we went for Fajr, and the Imam started Surah Al-Baqarah. Right? And mashallah, he's reading, he's reading. And then after that, you know, he goes into Ruku, and then second Raka'ah, I thought maybe he's going to read Ikhlas. So, Qul huwa Allah wa'ad. He starts Ali Imran. I'm like, oh man, this is... Right? He finishes Ali Imran, then the Salah finishes. So everything went well. It's like, you know, we're about, to turn, we're about to leave. The Imam stands up. He says, brothers, you have to re-pray because I didn't have wudu. <laughs> so then he says, I went, and go, I went and hit the Imam. The judge says, okay, no problem. This was, in this case, he deserved it. Right? <laughs> the, that's a separate thing I just wanted to share. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the zeal that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had for ibadah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the khushu and the khudu that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had in his salah. Amin. Subhanakallah, alhamdulillah, wa nashadu wa ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Allahumma anta salam wa anka salam wa tabarak ala jalali wa ikram. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatan wa fi al-akhirati hasanatan wa qina adab al-nar. Allahumma adina al-haqqa haqqa wa rizukna attiba'ah. Wa adina al-baatila baatila wa rizukna ajtinaabah. Allahumma inna nas'aluka lidaaka wal jannah. Wa na'udhu bika min sakhatika wa ghadabika wa nnaar. اللهم إنا اللهم إنا نسألك الهدى والتقى والعفاف والغنى اللهم إنا نسألك علما نافعا ورزقا واسعا وعملا متقبلا وشفاء من كل داء اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين وأذل الشرك والمشركين ودمر عداك عداء الدين اللهم انصر المسلمين في كل مكان اللهم انصر إخواننا في فلسطين اللهم حرر المسجد الأقصى اللهم احفظ حرمين الشريفين اللهم إنا نسألك من خير ما سألك منه نبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ونعوذ بك من شر ما استعاذ منه نبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وأنت المستعان وعليك البلاغ ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم سبحان ربك رب العزة يما يسفون وسلام على المرسلين الحمد لله